Hi, I'm Sherry Carlisle Smith, General Manager at Miller Piano Specialist, located at 650 Fraser Drive in Franklin, Tennessee, home of Pearl River Pianos. Today we are bringing you number one of a series on the anatomy of a grand piano, and we're featuring a Pearl River GP150. If you're a first time shopper or an interested buyer in a grand piano, we're going to be starting you with the basics of the anatomy. First of all, this is what's called the lid of the piano. A lot of questions are asked why we have two sticks for the lid. They're called lid props. So when you're on the tallest of the lid prop, it gives you more sound generating from the top. It also creates the look of a much larger, bigger piano. If I want to bring that sound volume down a little, and I want to make it look a little less overpowering in the room, I'm going to put it on the lower level of the prop stick. This is the fall board of the piano. And as you notice with this GP150 Pearl River, it's a slow close, so it's gradually going to go down. No more slam fingers. We also are going to tell you about the 88 notes. Yes, black and white notes, sharps and flats and naturals. A lot of people call us and say, does the grand piano have 88 notes? It does. Miller Piano Specialist will not have a piano that doesn't have 88 notes. With any grand piano at Miller Piano Specialist, they all come with a wonderful matching brand new bench with lid that raises for your music storage. You see below the piano three pedals. In the anatomy of the piano, they're each one used for a different reason. The right is what we call sustain, the middle is going to be sostenuto, and the left is going to be what we call a soft pedal. You'll learn more about these a little later. And last but not least, for this portion, we are going to talk about the skeleton or the rim or the casing of the piano and the shape of a grand, which all goes together to make the anatomy of a piano. We have more to come. Stay tuned to be continued.